Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds. We're going to be talking Randy Oliver's Oxalic Acid Extended Release using the Maxi Pads. I have two on this colony right here, and I've already pried it up so I can do this one-handed. Sorry about the footage, but it's all I can do to operate both. So you can see the pads down into here, and the bees are chewing them up. I've smoked the bees a good bit. And you can see other collars as well as they were all in one bag and kind of crumbled and stuck together. It's one thing very different over the Swedish uh, towels, the Wedex, is that these do crumble a lot more. And the bees seem to wear them out and move them around, which could be really good as that could disperse the OA more evenly and kill more mites. Let's check the brood up top. This one right here was a special case. Most of the colonies in this yard were testing around one and three quarters to two percent infestations upon application of the treatments. This colony right here though had 33 mites in an alcohol wash. There wasn't near as much brood as the other colonies. The queen wasn't performing good for <laughs> obvious reasons. So I think that compounded the, the mite counts a little bit compared to having um, really good brood. One of the things that I did do, besides applying the, the pads, is the queen was doing a poor job, and I put a new queen in here. So she is laying an okay pattern at this point. It might be a lot better if there was not so many mites. Hopefully that number is going down. You actually can see some onto the pads. Um, I should have probably showed you that. One thing that we're also trying to do is make sure that they have plenty of food. You can see there's plenty of that right there uh, honey and also there is a plethora of pollens coming in right now it is awesome that is a halfway decent pattern right there it looks pretty good um, you can see there's a little bit of nectar down into the cells from this fall flow uh, not a ton of nectar coming in but some and that definitely helps nutritionally new queen good nutrition uh, the patterns have improved with that new queen however we're hoping that that 33 mite count drops down with these these sponges down in here and you might be able to see a couple mites on those pads my phone is starting to overheat here in the middle of September so sorry about that but it is interesting to see how this is going we have several colonies that are in this test group as well that do not have such high mite loads and I'm hoping that overall we see some decent control with this method. So hope you enjoyed this little snippet of a video. I'm going to get back to running through this yard of about 60 colonies and hoping to see some really good results from other test groups and we will be gathering the rest of the data through alcohol wash means at the end of this month and we should have all the data that Richard Brickner will compile and have presentable for YouTube and for Excel spreadsheets. So that will be quite awesome. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.